for me, I grew up with ongoing and random trauma. And I developed a really, really strong resentment towards society. I remember twice in my young life trying to disclose and being told that I'm a liar and to shut up. So my life was a series of poor choices made from a place of poverty, developing rage, and incredibly low self-esteem. But you know, when that same society provided housing supports for me, my healing journey began. It was a life-saving validation that encouraged me to make it built in me a feeling of wanting to pay back that which I was given so freely, it seemed. Since I've been housed in a home and I don't have to worry that I'm going to be homeless or freezing or walking in the rain for hours and hours, I've been able to seek treatment for my addictions issues and complete 56 days. I've been able to finish grade 12, 30-1 English and get the mark I needed to continue on with my education. I've been able to complete a six month hepatitis C treatment. I could not have done that without a home. So some of you may know it knocks you right out. Throughout this, I'm going through ongoing recovery from multiple fractures, which was my, uh, my complete bottom for me. It occurred on March 20th, 2010, and I was, had been homeless for four years, and I was in active addiction, and I was prostituting myself, and I was at the corner of 117th Ave and 48th Street. And these guys rolled up and tried to sell me something that I thought wasn't good enough, so I told them to get lost, in different words, perhaps, and tried to walk away. They ran me over, broke my hip, my pelvis, and my jaw, they robbed me. And as they drove away, I heard what I considered, who's now my higher power, say to me, move, Patty. It was four in the morning, there was no one else around. But for some reason, I became obedient and started dragging myself off the side, of the, off the middle of the road. And I got my upper body in between two parked cars. When I turned and looked over my shoulder, the guy that ran me over and robbed me was running over both of my legs. So I suffered multiple fractures and that's been an ongoing healing process since being housed. The doctors told me I might get up to 80% capacity after at least five years of ongoing therapy. And you know, I'm standing here today, so thank you. The only way to go there is how we get on the home. Now that I got a hate and everything, it seems like the more I pay, the more the more they want. Nothing like having to walk into a building and flip the light on. For many years, this was my daylight. This was my power. The daylight. That was my my when I was in the camp. And then I when it got dark. No more light. Of course, I invested in a flashlight. You know, you have to learn. Yeah, I brought up a lot of thoughts of home, good going, good knowledge, good thing. Eventually, I had a little care. And I'm getting out of the situation now. And, uh, I realize I need my own experience. You know, I get to just go out there and 24 7 but I had somebody regulate my life as it was in the south of home, group homes and all that. You get to a point in life where, okay, it's time to, to be independent, you know. Get out there and be able to say, well, okay, I'm free now. That's a good thing, like, you know, it's a good thing like folks like yourself be around somebody to uh, have a photo for you on. <coughs> the 
I've had all those years that I was home a lot of times I chose to be home. After 40 years, sometimes I still choose to be, to be home and even if I have a home. You never get rid of that type of life. Sometimes you just totally free like a bird. You do whatever you want to do. Don't have to worry about open that pot like uh, power. Of course, nowadays everybody pretty much got a cell phone. I do anyway, but that one's for five years now. It's easy. The thing freedom of life, to be able to express yourself, go ahead. I got my phone with me 24-7. All I got to do is find a plug in. In the wintertime, everybody's got their, uh, when they dump their cars in that van, when they're not home during the day, they go try to flip. So there's a lot of things free in life. You just have to be sneaky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, life does get better. All this meant there should be no need to go ahead and let go heaven. Especially this being the richest in the country. Publicity should be abolished altogether. Everybody should have a home. Everybody should be able to walk in and flip that light on anytime they want. Clean that tap on for clean water. Anyways, I thank you for hearing me. Y'all have a beautiful day. homeless for about two years before I finally got into a housing program. It wasn't until I was in my third trimester of pregnancy and fresh age of 16 years old that I found a home. Housing and having a stable home has helped me to raise my son in a safe environment, helped me to go to school so I could provide for my child, and got me off the streets and off the drugs. Without housing, I don't know where I would be today. I don't know where my son would be today, but housing is extremely necessary, especially for the youth of today.